So guys, welcome back to the channel once again. Touching down from the glorious and the sexy Chiang Mai city in Northern Thailand. We're in the PT station again. We're in a gas station filling up and we're off on a little journey again. We're off on a day, daytime tour out of the city. This time we're heading south. So down the Hangong Road, which I don't come down here too often now actually. Normally going north side of the city but it's good to come down this way and i got a few places that i want to see down here just pumping up the tires on lucille and yeah for anybody that don't know i'm not sure if i've shown this before but you come and get your get your free air here look you put in your numbers and then you fill up fill up the tires so i normally put about two two extra on on each tire just for the access air when you take off the when you take off the nozzle you lose a bit so they say to put in 29 on the front and 33 on the back i think but i always put an extra two um i've read that you shouldn't go too high you can blow your tire or too low is dodgy as well but you know i put in an extra two so i just stopped off in big seat in may here for a pit stop get some breakfast got a nice pad thai wrapped in an omelette and yeah you got got to use the card here so when you finish you bring your card back look and she gives you your change if you've got any left on there wow. i like the big c canteen for some reason they do good price good food good omelette good pad thai so yeah go down there get a bit of grub now and then so i'm heading about 30 minutes down hangong road now south of the city and we're going to san patong area which is an area i've not really explored much i've drove through it many times i've drove through a lot of these areas outside chiang mai i've never really explored on the bike since i've had lucille so we're going down there we're going to check out a place that i've got on my list and then we're going to another cool place on the list so we're going to two places today we're just gonna have a look around get a green tea check things out and just have a day out it's nearly Christmas man I cannot believe that Christmas is just less than one week away so yes yeah, nice to get out in this it's cool weather so I'm gonna hop on the bike do some footage on the way down and we will check it out man right then Let's get on that road again. Hopefully the camera's all right. Not moving around too much. We don't need another hero. I've had Tina Turner on all morning. I don't know why. I'm not the biggest fan of old Tina, but I've had Tina Turner greatest hits on. We don't need another hero We don't need another hero Right, so off we got on the map, 25 minutes So I've pulled off the Angdong Road now. So the Angdong Road is just nothing really, it's just a straight line. So see this is how they pull out. In the 
UK cars pull out, but here it's like three quarters of the cars hanging out in the road, man. I know they got to look. You got to get past the bonnet in you so you can have a look in a car. But yeah, they come out. They hang out a lot here. You don't really get much time to admire the view when you're riding here either. You have to keep your eyes don't get a rest really. You have to keep your eyes all the time. If you're on a back road or something, you could have a quick look around. But in around Chiang Mai City, yeah, you can't be admiring nothing when you go past. We don't need another hero. Ah, these are my type of roads. This is what I like. Ah, this is it. I can see it. I'm not going to say the name until I get off. We made it! Yes, we made it all in one piece. Once again. Ganesha Cafe and Farm. Ganesha Ganesha, I'm going to call it. So I can hear a bit of dance music playing down here, guys. So I might have to do the usual and put on some put on some of our own music over the top if it's if it's copyright. Yeah, it's gonna be. I can hear it already. Hello. How are you? YouTuber, yes. Wow. You subscribe to me, okay? Yeah. You on the video now. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the bit I've seen online, guys. Look at this then, eh? It's not a bad place to come and chill, is it? And they've even turned the music off for me. She's turned it off for me, so I can quickly do a bit of filming. Uh, it does look exactly like it does online. Ah, this is well nice. Yeah, so chuffed to come down here. So we've got some people here already having a bit of lunch. So we're going to get in the middle. Ah, it's not a bad life, is it? It's not a bad old life. Look at the water. It's green. Like a good green. They must have coloured that, right? That's some sort of... Never seen water that... It's like a turquoise blue, I suppose. So in a minute, I'm going to get a green tea. And we're going to sit in one of these. So just going to take a look what this is down here. Ah, they're still, still building this cafe farm. Probably a restaurant up there or something. So we got this guy laying some tiles. Swaddy cap. So this is going to be a cool place where you can come, get some food maybe. Chill out, get your food. Yeah, what a place. Amazing place. Ah, you know. It's not the worst life in the world, is it? It's not the worst life. So these girls are being very helpful. <laughs> 
so this here is going to be a restaurant or yeah. it is a restaurant now yeah i have to show you something you can show me yeah. oh cool oh, so <laughs> this way yeah you yeah. forgot i'm starting to be this open ah it's not been open too long yeah. right oh so this has been open about one year you think that's seven months okay and how i say the name ganesha or ganesha Ganesha. Ganesha. Yeah. Okay, Ganesha. Yeah, and what's your name? Pim. Pim. This is Pim. She's going to show us around upstairs. And this place has only been open seven months, guys. So it's still, still getting finished. Okay. Ah, cool. So we've got some, no, it's good. So we've got some artwork on the wall. So somebody's been up here painting this. And what what will this be when it's finished? Nikia. Oh. Nikia. <laughs> food. You can get food here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Have a look at the view. So I have a balcony here where you could, wow, well, looks a bit dangerous at the minute, but I'm sure they might, well, this is Thailand, they probably won't put barriers up. How's about that though, eh? Incredible. Just open fields next door as well. It's a really nice area. And they've picked a good spot. And that is the perfect place to chill if I've ever seen one. Love it. So it's worked out better than what I thought. It's an amazing place. So they got a mini farm outside, guys. Got this little chaplet. Hello. And they kindly left the music off for me while I just have a quick look around. So we've got geese, we've got ducks. And as I shown earlier, but there was music playing. This here, guys, is an albino buffalo. Look, this guy's whiter than me. Albino buffalo, that's crazy, man. Never seen nothing like that before. And they've got a play area for the kiddies. These guys are lively. <laughs> Yeah, they ain't happy, look. Not happy. So you can get all your coffees here, guys, or your tea. Uh, maybe quite a lot of drinks, actually. You can get your sweet flavoured drink as well. Um, I just had some food, so I won't get no food. I'm looking for green tea. You have green tea? Yeah, green tea. Ice green tea. Thank you. So Pim's gonna get me some green tea. Okay. <laughs> and it's not the worst place to come and chill, is it? Got some people out there doing selfies. I'd say this is a hot spot for coming to do your selfie. And I got a guided tour again, guys. See, it's all sort of helping the business. And yeah, helps them. I get a vlog out of it. So it's all good, right? Everybody's a winner. Everyone's a Bobby Dazzler. So they give me some fish food that I can feed the fish. You probably just do it, do it through the net here. Yeah, do it through the net. They go mad, look. Love this stuff, don't they? Look at that! <laughs> Crazy! I really like this place. I wish it was a little bit closer to the city centre. It's close, 20, 25 minutes, but you know, wouldn't want to be coming down here every. It's close enough for a couple of times a week. Cool. 
going to sit here guys have a green tea and just chill out for a bit when you're in a place like this it's worth staying for for an hour isn't it? and just chilling out and then we're going to head off to the number two place which is not far from here it's about 10 minutes and yeah i'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell you that place yet i'm gonna go down there and have a look make a day out of it So it's called Ganesh, Ganesha, Ganesha, I still can't say it. After the elephant, right? It's the elephant. There's a big monument over there, so I'm going to go and look at it after. Monument of the elephant, so we'll go and take a take a shot of that. And just getting out of the city again, it's made me feel, feel alive. So I can't wait to, can't wait to get going again, really. Get going on a trip find more places like this and Chiang Mai's littered with places like this as well there's loads all around the city there's coffee shops with little themed coffee shops like this so I've got my milk green tea 60 baht this is the smallest one I was expecting it to be a lot smaller actually 60 baht one the smallest we will give it the taste test Yeah, no sugar as well. I remember to say no sugar this time. So I'm really happy with that. Absolute Bobby Dazzler of a place. Loved it, man. What a place to come and get a coffee. Got beautiful ladies. Wait on you and in foot. Lovely green tea. Cheap 60 baht. Lovely view. Animals. Perfect. And it's pretty baking again now. It's baking, but yeah, I'm really enjoying today. So I wouldn't recommend it if I didn't like it. Got the angle grinders going wouldn't be the same right without angle grinders so i'm gonna get on lucille and we're gonna head down to the next place touchdown location two and this place is a pretty special place guys this is another location that i've been wanting to come to for a long time and just riding past it it looks something different it looks special so this is a hindu temple it's called shiva brahma temple and it's kind of special guys so we're gonna go and have a look at it and yeah see what's on offer hindu temple we've got some massive monuments here the biggest being right at the back in a minute
Them guys painted all them walls just up there sitting. That was, yeah, it's a good place. Guys, I would check this place out for sure. It's free entry as well. So this would have went on my list of free things to do in Chiang Mai. This is, it's just something different than, than your normal Buddhist temple in the city. I'm glad I've come down here. Both places today have been have been top class man and we still got to look at the giant one yet leaving that till last this is a big old boy though as well isn't it it's a big one but then oh, there's a few people up here so to be a little bit quiet wow that is that is a sight Jesus, how do they make something like that, man? How do they do it? I did see somebody that come here and it wasn't finished about a year ago. It wasn't open and they were still building this and I've seen some pictures of the scaffolding up and it's a bit dark when I lift the camera up, so I'm not sure what you can see there, guys. But yeah, it's a massive, massive monument. Three heads. Look at the colour in it, man. Amazing. Whew, it's getting hot now as well. Roasting. But it's still not like Thailand roasting. It's just, it's bearable, still bearable. I'm gonna be on about the weather all through this winter in Thailand. Every vlog I'm gonna do an update what it's like. Ah oh man, excellent. Absolutely loved it. Shiva Brahma Narayan Temple. I'll leave it all in the description as always guys. And it's on such a such a weird road. It's like all overgrown down here the way I came up. Look, it's just it's roads like this coming in. I mean you got a highway down there, but when you I took the wrong turn and I had to go all the way around and up here. And it's just like a derelict road overgrown this is what you can find around Chiang Mai without even going too far so there's loads of things I can still do before I go on some more road trips I'm gonna stop waffling man and I'm gonna get on Lucille get back into the city and chill out for the rest of the day really man not gonna do a lot today it's all it's all a bit chilled in Chiang Mai at the minute. So yeah, hope you're all safe and sound as always, guys. I'm not gonna wish you a happy Christmas yet because I will do that Christmas Eve, Christmas day, and we will take it from there. So hope you're all safe and sound, guys, and I will see you in the next one. So take it easy, man. Take it easy. Bobby Dazzler of a day, man. Bobby Dazzler. <laughs>